This is part three of our full series on sets, unions, and intersections. What do they mean? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, this is part three na ating full series on sets. Na pag-usapan na natin yung basic na mga notation. Before, if you haven't seen parts one and two yet, I'll link na lang dito sa i button so you can catch up. Today, unions and intersections naman. But before we do that, just a quick little plug. One way to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines is through buying our merch, like this shirt right here. Ito yung trying hard shirt natin. Now, you can get a shirt just like this or any of our other merch, like mugs and other stuff, sa shop.teamlaika.com. And uh, for those of you na nakabili na, maraming salamat. Sa mga bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. And thank you for helping me help more people through this channel. Okay? Now that we have that out of the way, let me switch over to my presentation. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so in this lesson, we'll talk about union, intersection, and difference. And again, if you haven't seen parts 1 and 2 yet, I encourage you to go and watch that first. Nakalink siya dito sa taas, sa i button. Simply because, kailangan siyang uh, makover muna. Kasi it talks about yung pinaka-basic na definitions and notations and stuff like that. But um, if you've seen those videos, let's go right ahead. Okay, now quick review lang muna tayo. Sabi natin, sets are a collection of distinct objects or elements. Um, for example, if you have these emojis right here, and again, ang sets, pwedeng set ng mga bagay, um, characters, hindi lang siya limited sa numbers. It is this group right here that can be called a set. So, kung ang set A or these emojis, this is how we write it. And we have yung mga notation na napag-usapan na natin. This is an empty or a null set. Yan ang set na walang laman. Uh, this right here is an element of, pag hindi siya element, naka-slash siya. Equal, ibig sabihin ng equal is pareho ng dami at pareho rin ang laman. Equivalent, pareho ang dami ng laman ng dalawang sets. Okay? So, uh, we also talked about subset, proper subset, superset, at proper superset in the past video dun sa part 2 ng series. Today, itong tatlo naman pag-uusapan natin. We'll start with this, no? So, U stands for union. Okay? Kaya ganyan yung symbol niya. Tandaan nyo na lang. Again, U, union. Ibig sabihin, it's the set of all distinct elements that are in A or in B. Pag sinabi in A or in B, ibig sabihin lahat-lahat sila. Okay, now, to better see this, let's use this example. We have two sets right here. Tapos, yung set A at set B, itong laman. So, set A, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Set B has 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, kung magkakaroon ng union itong dalawang sets na ito, we can draw it like this. Okay, this is set A. This is set B. Now, Paano natin ilalagay sa isang Venn diagram? Ito yung tawag natin dito. Now, kung nahanap natin yung union ng set B at A, this is what we're going to do. Okay, first, ilagay muna natin lahat ng mga nasa gitna. Ano yung nasa gitna? These are the elements na meron sa A at meron din sa B. For example, you have 2 here and 2 here. Okay, so lalagay ko yung 2 sa gitna. Bakit? Kasi nasa loob siya ng bilog na set A, nasa loob din siya ng bilog na set B. Now, ilalagay ko lang dito yung pangalan ng set para mas madaling makita. Okay. Yan. So, you have 2 here. Nasa set A siya. Nasa set B din siya. You have 4 here. Nandito rin siya. So, yung 4, lalagay ko rin sa gitna. Okay. And then, we're going to start with the ones na hindi shared or hindi nandun sa parehong sets. You have 6. Paragay ko siya dito. 6. You have 8. And you have 10. Nasulat ko na lahat ng laman ng A. Dito naman tayo sa B. You have 1, 3, and 5. Now, kung pinag-uusapan ay union ng set A at B, ano siya? Ito ay lahat ng ito. Okay? So, para mas makita natin, lahat yan. The entire thing. Okay? Yan yung union. Okay? 
So, kung isusulat ko siya, I'll start with a bracket, tapos ililista ko lahat. I can go one, two, isusulat ko lang siya once kasi nasa A din siya, nasa B din siya. Again, ang sets, distinct elements. So, ibig sabihin, unique. You have three right there. You have four. Nandito rin siya. I have five here. Six. Okay. Walang seven, no? Eight tayo. And then, ten. Now, nasulat ko na ba lahat? Okay, we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dapat eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements. Yan, complete na siya. So, again, ang union ay lahat nung nandun sa buong shape na yan. Dun sa dalawang bilog na yan ng Venn diagram natin. Okay? Yan yung union. Again, para madaling tandaan, ang union is coming together, di ba? Ibig sabihin, pagsasama-sama. You're, you're united, ibig sabihin, sama-sama kayo. Okay? Lahat-lahat sila. Now, dito tayo sa next. Yung intersection naman, baliktad naman siya. So, union, pataas, intersection, pababa. A set of all distinct elements that are in both A and B. Now, pag sinabing both A and B, ibig sabihin ang hinahanap na natin yung nasa A at nasa B rin. Now, using the same information that we had kanina, pareho lang yan. Again, we're looking for yung nandun sa set A at nandun din sa set B. So, we have 2 sa gitna. We have 4 here. So, nasa four, yung 4 nasa gitna din. Tapos, yung 6, 8, 10, unique siya dito. 6, 8, 10. Dito, meron, meron kang 1, 3, at 5. Now, kung hinahanap na natin yung intersection ng set A at B, ang hinahanap na natin are the ones na nandun sa both. Ibig sabihin, kung siya shadean ko, ito siya. Ito lang. Itong mga nandito lang, sa gitna. Yung shared. Okay? Yung nasa A na nasa B pa. So, kung ini susulat ko, bracket, and you only have 2 and 4. Okay? So, ang intersection ng set A at B ay 2 and 4. Okay? So, yan yung intersection. Again, union, lahat sila. Intersection, yung shared lang. Next, we have yung difference. Now, etong part na to medyo iba naguguluhan. Pero it's actually really easy, lalo na if you use the Venn diagram. Ang difference consists of elements that are in set A but not in set B. Okay, now titingnan natin yung drawing natin kanina. Okay, again, same thing. It replicate lang natin. You have 2 and 4 here. You have 6, 8, and 10. Tapos you have dito 1, 3, and 5. Okay, now, we had up yung difference. Ang sabi natin, these are elements that are in the first set mentioned. So, lahat ng nasa A, maliban dun sa nasa B rin. Okay. Now, kung titingnan natin yon, it's basically, itong bilog na ito, pero parang kinagat niya yung part na merong intersection sa set B. So, kinagat niya, magiging parang crescent moon siya. Anong part siya? Ito. Okay. Ito na lang. They, they are the elements that are unique to set A. Wala sa set B. Hindi na to kasama. Okay? So, again, murahin natin siya. Ito na lang ang hinahanap natin. So, this will be the elements 6, 8, and 10. Bakit hindi kasama yung 2 and 4? Kasi difference siya. Nandun siya sa set B, so hindi siya pwedeng isama. Okay? So, again, yun yung union intersection and difference. Alright, now it's time for your quick quiz. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
Alright, let's see how you did. Number one, you have the union ng sets B and C. Okay, B union C. So, ito yung B, ito yung C. Now, kung gusto mo mag-draw ng Venn diagram, okay lang din. Okay, now, I'll show you naman kung walang time for that. Ang gagawin ko lang, I'll start with a bracket right away. I will look at yung meron na sa B na, ano naman to, in-order ko na. Okay, let's start with the smallest number. So, 2, meron 2 sa B. So, dahil union siya, ilalagay ko na siya agad. You have 4, nandun din siya sa C. Okay, so makakancel na yan, counted na yan. So, I'll write 4. I have 6 right here as the next number. So, 6. 8 is a shared number. So, check tayo dyan. Lagin natin yung 8. Meron kang 10 as the next number here. So, 10. Dito walang 10, okay lang. Pero ubus na to, dito na ako sa C. You have 12 and 16. Okay? So, yan yung union ng B and C. Okay? So, again, it's basically listing the entire thing down, but listing yung parehong lumabas just once. Okay? I hope you got that right. Now, C intersection naman ng D. Okay? So, titin natin yung C at saka D. Again, ang intersection, these are the ones na meron doon, tas meron din dito. Okay? Now, if you look here, 4, walang 4, walang 8, walang 12, walang 16, wala rin itong lahat. So, ibig sabihin nun, this is actually a null set. Okay? Or, kung, kasi kung lalagyan natin yung brackets, ganyan yung itsura. Okay? Null set kasi walang intersection ng set C at D. Okay? Now, difference naman daw ng set A tsaka set D. Now, for this one, I'll draw the Venn diagram. So, set A, set D. Okay. Now, yung set A tsaka set D, meron bang siyang shared figures? You have three. Nandun din siya. So, sulat ko siya sa gitna. You have five. Nandun din siya sa A. Nandun din siya sa D. So, you have five here. Seven. Nandun din. And 9. Okay, again, these are, nandun din siya sa set A, nandun din siya sa set D. Now, ano na yung unique sa set A na wala sa set D? Yung 1, wala siya doon. So, lalagay ko dito yung 1. And of course, sa set D, meron na siyang 3, 5, 7, 9 sa gitna. It's just 11 na unique sa kanya. Now, dito nagugulaan yung iba. Like, sino yung masusunod? Again, yung nauuna. So, ang hinahanap natin, yung mga nasa set A na wala sa set D. So, that would be just this shape right here. I-red natin para mas kita. So, ang sagot natin, ang laman lang ng set na ito is just 1. Okay. Yan. Next, we have B intersection A. Okay. So, again, looking at the intersection of B and A, tinan natin, 1, wala doon. 3, wala. 5, wala. 7, wala. 9, wala. Kasi ito puro odd numbers, ito puro even, no? So, ibig sabihin, this is also a null set. Okay? Wala rin siyang laman. Wala siyang intersection. Now, dahil four questions na yung nilagay ko dito in the interest of time, what I would encourage you to do would be in the comment section, uh, halu-haluin nyo yan. Like, uh, palitan nyo yung A sa B, tas isulat ninyo yung, yung inyong listahan ng mga elements. Okay? So, just play around with these given ones. And titinan ko sa comments kung tama o mali yung mga nilagay ninyo. Okay? So, kung nyari, lalagay nyo A, union B, anong, anong itsura nun? Lagay nyo sa comments. Uh, A, intersection B, anong itsura nun? Uh, difference ng A tsaka B. Things like that, you can write it in the comment section. Okay? And if you want more practice, uh, of course, we have the questions that I post on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Like Maravilla on Instagram. We post the quick quizzes doon sa story function ng Instagram. And of course, throwback quizzes then and more updates at announcements sa ating Team Laika Instagram account. So, it's at Team Laika naman. And if you're on TikTok, you can find me on TikTok at Team Laika for the educational content, math, English videos, at mga ding quick quizzes doon. So, if you want to join doon sa ating pag-game show doon, go ahead and follow uh, Team Laika on TikTok. And for the more personal stuff, yung mga motivational videos, tips, and advice, you can find them sa at Laika Maravilla naman on TikTok. Okay? 
All right, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and don't forget exam din sila. Dati yung sarabi tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Thank you guys for watching. As we always use the channel, to never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kain yan. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.